Women in business and female entrepreneurs will now be given a safe space to be heard, to be empowered, and most of all, support each other in business. The first ever Women's Chamber of Commerce and Industry was officially launched at the Pegasus Hotel Thursday evening under the slogan, Champions of Change for Women of the Future. It was noted that the chamber is not only the first of its kind in Guyana, but also in the Caribbean. One of the founders, Mrs. Carenza Grace Sandy Bart, said to an audience filled with mainly businesswomen that the financial and cultural barriers stifle their success. Speaking about the dismissive reaction to professional workable solutions women offer, Mrs. Bart called for better laws for women in business. And did you know as well that the average economy gives women three quarters of the legal rights of men? especially in developing countries. This might shock a lot of us. We've been doing some research as well. So what does this mean? It means we need better laws, we need better regulatory reforms, and we need better business practices. And I will em emphasize on better business practices. Some of the challenges women face in business include not gaining access to capital, access to market and networking. Co-founder Lindell Danzi Black said that the chamber will create opportunities for women, stimulate policy development, and also host local and international outreach programs, promising an excellent and professional business environment. To ensure women-owned businesses and women-led businesses are equipped with sound and technical business procedures, as well as market intelligence, for decision-making, both regionally and internationally. These are some of the things that we think we could do for our members. Delivering the keynote address was the Inter-American Development Bank country representative to Guyana, Sophie McKinnon. McKinnon said one of the benefits of the Women's Chamber of Commerce is that women can be stronger together. She said while data shows that women are more educated than men, their contribution to the workforce is less. The Human Development Indicators of Ghana indicate that 70% of women over the age of 25 are estimated to have at least some secondary education compared to 55% of men. I didn't know that. I... Yet, women only make 35% of the labor force in Guyana. We are talking about the formal economy here, not touching the informal economy. So it seems that the higher than average rate of Guyanese women vis-a-vis -vis the region in educational attainment at the secondary and tertiary level is not reflected in labor force, once again, formal. Furthermore, furthermore, pay equity remains an acute challenge as salaried women workers are paid 58% less than men. Meanwhile, vital data is absent on the number of women participating at management and board levels. Meanwhile, President of the Georgetown Chambers of Commerce and Industry, Nicholas Boyer, said that the Women's Chamber is a bold but much needed move in Guyana. He noted that the population is younger and has more females, and it is time that men step aside to make room for women to break that glass ceiling. Boyer said that the GCCI will provide support to the Women's Chamber. According to him, women leadership and entrepreneurship have the potential to change the economy. If you took a look at the Chamber of Commerce, and you looked at all its presidents, and I've been asked this, why haven't we had a female president? And I couldn't answer. I didn't have a good answer. So what I said was, instead of trying to look at what had gone before me, let me look at what I can do to answer that question. I won't be able to say that I will select this woman, but I can tell you that in the chamber, and I will see for myself, because I know that a number of the women who make up your board have interacted with our chamber, I would say that our chamber, and now we have this organization, will promote a new cadre of women who are strong, intelligent, and are going to be trailblazers and successful. The Women's Chamber will create equal opportunities for women in business and promises transparency, integrity, and ethical practices. Reporting for a newsroom, Isanello Patwa.